Hello, familia. Angel Anderson here. If you've been using Peter McKinnon's Lightroom preset and you recently updated your Lightroom to the new Lightroom CC from the classic, you will realize that the preset didn't migrate. So here is what I did to migrate or to copy and paste the Lightroom preset, Peter McKinnon Lightroom preset to the new CC so I can use it. By the way, they're really good. Highly encourage them, save me a lot of time, and they'll pic my pictures look a lot better. So let's go to the library. I'm in a Mac, so here this is a tutorial for a Mac. I'm gonna go to the Go menu. I'm going to, now you, you, you will see that the library uh, link is not here, so I'm gonna press the Alt key, the library icon shows up. I'm gonna click it, and then I'm gonna go to Application Support, and then I'm gonna go to Adobe and Lightroom first, Lightroom folder and develop presets. And here's the Peter McKinnon preset, they're all inside. So I'm gonna go and copy, and I'm going to go to the Lightroom CC folder, and I'm gonna go to the develop preset. You paste here, which I already did. And now, once I go to the application folders, and I open the new CC Lightroom, you will see that the presets are in a, I don't want to say weird place, but there you, you got to look for them. So here is where they are. Now that it's open, you see on the bottom here, right corner, it says preset. Once I click on the preset, you will see Peter McKinnon's preset here, 2017. Let's say I want to uh, use the Dolomite. You see how the, the colors change really nice. I'm going to click on it. Save me a lot of time. Now I want to crop it for Instagram. And let's do, let's say I do a four and five ratio or four, four by five ratio. And I think that's, uh, so let me, let me move the image here. And what's going to be the focus here. Boom, boom. Let's see. I think I, I like, I like how that one looks right there. Shows the family, shows the beer in the middle, which is, uh, I went to a new brewery. Looks good. I am going to click save or oh, enter so, to crop it. And then I'm going to go share say which this one is a new one for me but i will get used to it i'm going to leave it as a jpeg and, and it's going to my instagram folder full size i'm going to click save and i'm done and that's basically how i'm editing the pictures these days using peter mckinnon's preset save me a lot of time resize them save them and uh and then one day well i watch tv i just upload and batch schedule them or uh, start posting them throughout the week or saving to my phone and whenever I have time and then I start posting them throughout the day I, It's not I don't have a, a science that I have to post one picture every day. However, I'm doing a portrait and a Item or subject something different. So a person and something different uh, So I'm altering the picture so you will see a new layout uh, in my Instagram page Which by the way, I'm gonna post the link below so you can go and check it out. Give me some critique. Anyway, I hope this video helped if you did, you know what to do. Like, share, comment. Yeah, I don't have to repeat it. You know what to do. Hope it helps. Let me comment below. And if you're brand new, subscribe so YouTube can let you know the next time I upload a video. With that said, my friend, peace out and see you in the next video.